Hey everyone, I'm Chris from Champion Helmets and today I'm going to be comparing and contrasting the Shubi NXR and the AGV K6. The Shubi NXR has sat very comfortably atop the mid-range sports helmet kind of category, but the AGV K6 uh, seems a very promising challenger. So you can already see these helmets do look quite similar, very similar kind of ventilation schemes as well, shape, aerodynamics, and so on. Uh, so we're going to see how they compare in terms of specs, and then we're going to go through the riding review, the riding test, and see exactly how the helmets stack up in terms of the data that we've collected. And of course, we'll go through the results at the end. But first though, if you're interested in seeing more detailed reviews where we take the helmets apart, we go through little, those little details, you can find that on a YouTube page. So you can check out uh, reviews for both the NXR and the K6 there. So we're going to start off by just going through the differences and similarities between the helmets. A great place to start is, of course, pricing. So both helmets are going to come with a recommended retail price, uh, price of 430 euros. Uh, that's for like a standard matte black kind of design. If you want to have graphics, it's going to go up from there. And it's going to vary a little bit between the two helmets, uh, depending on the graphic and so on. For the shell, it's a little bit interesting. Uh, the NXR has the advanced integrated matrix. It's going to be organic fiber, similar to carbon fiber. Uh, also fiberglass and a few other materials in there. It's a fiberglass composite shell. Whereas the K6 is going to be just carbon fiber and aramid. So it's going to be just that little bit of a stronger shell, just a little bit better than the NXRs. And both helmets are actually going to be available in four different shell sizes. Now for the weight, and both were quite good. The K6 in the size ML comes in at about 1,350 grams. And the NXR was just a little bit lighter at around 1,275 grams in the size M. When it comes to the visor, they're quite similar. You know, you can't see too much difference between them. They both come without uh, sun visors. They have pin locks. Uh, they've got a decent seal, good mechanism. Then you go to like the ventilation, the liner, the comfort, the feel, and that's all stuff that is much better seen in our riding review. Okay, so now for the riding, and if you haven't seen one of these before, we have a few sensors to gather our data from. The white box on the left is our temperature inside of the helmet. Uh, a thermometer has been placed on top of a rider's head by the ventilation channels to get that. Then in the middle is our decibel reader, which is connected to a sensor by our rider's ear. On the right is the wind speed, and then on the dash is the speed and the outside temperature. So let's start things off with the NXR. For our test, the wind fluctuated between 120 and 125 kilometers per hour, and the outside temperature was just 24 degrees. During the ride, the inside temperature of the NXR was 23 degrees Celsius. That was one degree less than the outside temperature. And for the noise isolation, the NXR is fairly average, measuring an average of 103 decibels inside of the helmets. When it came to the feel of the helmet though, our rider thought it was pretty comfortable. It was pleasant to wear, and overall just pretty decent. He said the ventilation and noise was just okay though. So now to rate the NXR, the shell is made out of good materials, making it tough and light. Then it comes in four shell sizes as well, so a 4.5 here is fair. Same with weight, which was helped out by the shell. Uh, we really liked the visor, it felt good, made a good seal, and we couldn't really ask for more here. As we saw, noise and ventilation was fairly average, though comfort was very high. All in all, value was a pretty good 18 euro per star, and the NXR is a solid four-side helmet with some average and some great features. So now that we've seen the Shui NXR's road test, let's move on to the AGV K6s. The outside temperature for our test was 22 degrees, and the wind speed was pretty consistently between 115 to 120 kilometers per hour. For the ventilation, we got a consistent reading of 23 degrees inside of the helmet, and that means there was only a difference of one degree, which was a good result. Next, the noise isolation averaged out to about 101 decibels, which is again a pretty good result, though the wind speed was fairly low, which probably helped to give the K6 a slightly better result in this case. For the actual feeling of the helmet, I rather thought it was all right. Uh, the ventilation felt okay, uh, though we found the noise isolation was also just alright. Then the comfort of the liner was also okay, uh, nothing particularly special. The aerodynamics felt good though, and the visibility was just as good as on other AGV helmets like the Pista, for example. So now for the star rating, and first up is the material. The K6 has that carbon and aramid shell, which is safe but light, and is also helped out by the four shell sizes. Then the great shell has also helped to keep the weight down and given us top marks for both. The visor was good, and with a pin lock, it's a fair four stars. Ventilation and noise isolation was all right, like you've just seen. Comfort as well, and our rider did prefer the NXR in this case. Value was strong as well at 18 euros per star, and we're confident that four stars is a good fit for the K6. 
So looking at the results of the ventilation and how these helmets compared there, uh, the trend continues. They both had a difference between them of only two degrees and the NXR was able to nudge out a slightly better results here. Uh, but at the end of the day, these are decent results, uh, but not the strongest. Looking at the noise isolation graph, and we see that it's basically the same as ventilation, just reversed because the K6 was in this case slightly better. And these results were overall pretty similar and the wind speed was also pretty similar for both tests, though it was slightly higher for the NXR. Uh, both helmets did about average here though, and that's why we only saw a half a star between the two. Don't forget as well that you can pick up both of these helmets in our online store, championhelmets.com. Once you're there, make sure to check out the product bundles to find the best deals. The K6 has a discount of almost 100 euros when bundled with the Center Arc comm system, for example, and you can get a free visor with the NXR, but only in the product's bundles. So now that we've seen all of that, it's probably time to pick which one is best. Unfortunately, they're the same. Same price, four stars, you know, slight variations in the shell, the noise, and so on and so on and so on. At the end of the day, they are very, very similar helmets, both really occupying that uh, top mid-range uh, full face sports helmet category. They both do a great job. So if you want to decide between the two of them, you're really trying to figure that out. I would say if you know Shui, you like Shui, take that. If you want to mix things up, take a K6. If you find a great deal on one, you like, you'll find a graphic that you really like. At the end of the day, there's not going to be a whole lot of difference between these two helmets. So guys, uh, I hope you've enjoyed this comparison. If you want to see anything more like this, any more writing reviews or whatever, make sure you subscribe to us on YouTube so you can always see them as soon as they come out. So guys, I'm Chris from Champion Helmets. Thanks for watching this comparison video, and I'll see you all next time.